Hello everyone, I'm Han Zhou from Zhejiang University. Today I will present the paper Limb Motion, Densimeter Level Limb Tracking for Wearable Based Human Computer Interaction. Professor Wei Dong is my advisor. Nowadays, the, the advanced HD applications require accurate motion capture techniques, such as mixed reality, fitness coaching, and so on. We mainly summarize the prior approaches into three categories, which are ML-based, computer vision-based, and RF and acoustic-based approaches. Existing designs have limitations of accuracy, latency trade-off, mobility, and dedicated devices. In limb motion, we propose an MU acoustic sensing fusion method. On one hand, using the MU data, we get the possible limb postures through analyzing the limb's range of motion, which is stored in the form of point clouds. On the other hand, we use a nearby edge device as an anchor to help motion tracking. Limb motion collects the distance between the wearable and the edge device, which reduces the raster space since the rest locates on a certain spherical surface. The challenges are 1. Unstable orientation derived by the MU, 2. High computation latency due to the limited com computing resources in the wearable. Let's see the overview diagram. A two-step filter computes the rest orientation using the MU reading. A fast acoustic ranging module keeps computing the distance between two devices. And then the final limb posture is estimated based on the above sensing result. Compared with classical MU fusion design, our two step filter discards the compass reading since indoor magnetic distribution causes unstability. We combine a complementary filter and a linear common filter as the figure shows. The two step filter will generate smooth estimation while decreasing the drift as shown in this figure. Limb motion utilizes the ranging method in bit bit. Two devices will send and receive chirps one by one. To compute the time of flight, it needs to do correlation calculation of the signal in the time window and the reference chirp. However, limited computing resources lead to chasing of the sound challenge which means the slow processing speed causes accumulating time windows. To solve this, we divide the correlation computation into two parts. At first, we judge that if the chirp signal exists by analyzing the signal energy distribution. If the energy pattern matches, next we compute the signal receiving time based on the correlation in the frequency domain. After we reduce the computation for non-interested windows, the processing speed meets the requirement. Refer to arm track, we generate the possible arm postures using point clouds. The point clouds can be regarded as a lookup table where one rest orientation are linked with many elbow orientations. We do simplifications on point clouds to make them occupy smaller RAM. At last, the positioning module searches the limb postures with the maximum likelihood according to observed rest attitude distance and acceleration. Using limb motion in practice requires some parameters such as the user's upper arm length LU, forearm length LF, and the, the edge device coordinate the edge. To make it convenient, we design an automatic initialization method to get these parameters. We ask the user to swing the arm first in an extended manner, then in a bent manner, According to 3D geometry, it forms a nonlinear optimization problem, and these problem can and these problems can could be optimized. Here we see the evaluation part. We test the motion with a TicWatch 2 smartwatch, and we choose the Huawei Honor 7 smartphone as the edge device. Eight volunteers are recruited for experiments. At first, volunteers are asked to perform free motion for 3 minutes. Then they perform 8 predefined gestures 10 times. During experiments, a Kinex V2 is used to capture the volunteer's motion as ground truth. 
These figures plot the tracking performance of limb motion. The free motion tracking median error is 8.2 cm and 8.9 cm for elbow and the rest. For the predefined gesture, we remove part of the point clouds that refer to uncommon arm postures, and the error decreases to 6.5 and 7.5 cm. We also evaluate the impact of different user gesture, time, limb, and moving speed. It shows the motion provides a robot motion tracking over these factors. We evaluate the motion with two typical HCI applications. Experiment results show that the motion recover users' drawing shapes smoothly. Besides, using the rest elbow attitude as features, the gesture recognition accuracy is higher than just using ML readings as features. Thank you.